hi all welcome back so today in this video we are going to see about appian portals okay so appian has recently launched the portals which lets the external user uh, use the uh, use the features of your appian applications so in this portal uh, what happened that external users can also use it without even logging into appian as of now what happened that uh, let's say you have created a site for your application in Appian. In order to use this site, what will happen? User has to come and log in as a, uh, with their credentials. Okay, but what about the anonymous user? They won't be able to use unless they have an account in Appian. Okay, so for that exposing as well, now you the same thing can be done in the portals as well. So here, the users without even logging into Appian, let's say external users. So external user can directly come and whatever the accesses you have given for the external user, they will be able to access the same thing in from the portals. Okay, so not only that, there are even more capabilities uh, for the portal that Appian has given. So you can see that they can start a workflow from the portal. You can start a workflow. Some information can be submitted from the directly from portals. Reporting information can also be shown to the users and user can self register as well. They can come and self register as well for various purposes. So these are the different features which are given by the Appian. And you don't have to worry about security and all whatever the security that has been configured inside the app and same is applicable outside as well so we generally like companies have these kind of huge cases are very common companies used to create a front-end portal for their uh, cons customers uh, and that is that uses HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React but in Appian you can with the help of sale uh, with the help of just sale with interfaces records you can directly create uh, interfaces or the front-end portal for the uh, for any use case okay let's say like how uh, to create a portal from scratch suppose a portal from a scratch so for that purpose what we will do here is first of all we have to go in the new okay and then we have to go in the portal here here you will see a dialog box will appear so this is the dialog box create portal here you have to give the name of your portal here so let's say like uh, I will give here customer portal okay and I will give here uh, the customers portal like this one and at the same time one web address identifier will also get created see this is how the uh, url for the portal look look like so qrchappianportal.com uh, and then slash customers portal whatever you have defined as a web address it should be unique otherwise it will not take it and just click on create button now this is the default view like how uh, how Appian portal configuration will look like. So this is in the le left hand side you can configure your all the different components of the portal and in the right hand side we will get a preview of the portal. So let's say what are the different parts about it. First is configuration, pages, headers. Let's collapse once one by one and let's say like what is the most important thing uh, in the portals okay what are, uh, so that we can create a portal what are the things that we have to know in order to create a portal first of all let's go on the configuration in the configuration you will see the first tab as published once this option is checked then only the portal can get published otherwise it won't be published here see I clicked on this button I got an error here what error it is add a page to the portal obviously an empty portal can't get published okay so uh, we have to add minimum one page in the portal uh, in order to publish it okay it means that adding a adding at least one page is the requirement for a portal that uh, without that you can't publish it let's go in the pages section now and you can see here uh, this is the page section okay and here you can add the pages in the portals so this is a portal sample portal which is created now so see here the same portal we will try to add it once again so we will go back onto our interface welcome page it is and let me just try to add a page initially I won't add uh, this read only grid here okay let me not add it and just click on save changes so this is just an interface which is just having some basic text rich text only and I will try to add a page here title I will just give it here customer and the interface I will just write it like this one click on add once it is see you will see the preview of the portal as well see 
here it's not like you know like um, in the site when we add the page it doesn't it should not have rule inputs but in portal you can add a page which has the rule inputs okay that we will also see later on so the minimum requirement was adding a, a page that we have configured so configuration is done pages part is done what is the next that is the headers so header and branding are the uh, like customization just like a site how you want the portal to look like how the interface should look like like you want to show the header bar or not that you can see <laughs> nothing will show otherwise so if you want to see the header bar then what are the different configuration we can do on that that we can configure from here similarly the branding as well if any input field is there rounded or semi rounded accent color favicon image all these things we can configure uh, of the portal from the branding part after the branding part there is a service access now what is a service account as of now whatever the things we have configured we are very well aware about uh, all the things either it is configuration adding pages header branding all the thing but this service account is a kind of new here what is this so it, it, let's try to see the definition what appian has given here service account that gives your portal permission to certain objects okay so it is for the security part just like uh, in appian how is the security security given so in appian security is given with the help of the groups here okay and here it is saying that service account will give your portal permission to certain objects so wherever that service account will have the access of the particular object let's say interfaces records that will be visible in the portals because portal is for external users there we can't authenticate anyone so we have to authenticate our uh, internal records processes or um, interfaces with the help of this service account we have to do that now uh, if you are of you if you have a service account that's very good okay if you don't have service account then you can click on this plus button and you can create a service account so let's say like uh, i will create here customers port like this one i will create a service account just hit on create here and the service account will get created here that's it and the next is the important part here is progressive web app see when you check mark this whenever the portal is created you will see a download button here let's say okay here it is not there we will we are going to again create it so one download so any site you can download as an app that is for this progressive web app is there now let's click on save changes once the changes is saved automatically the portal will start to publish so let's wait for its publishing and then we'll see so it is giving an error that uh, this involve maximum number of portals okay so what it is what is happening that maximum number of portals are there so in community only two portals you can publish okay so what you can do here is uh, I have a portal I will go back and I will unpublish a portal let's see how to unpublish it as well I will just unpublish it and click on save change once the portal is unpublished then I can go back and publish my portal once again click on publish here now you can see here the portal is published. Let's see like how our portal look like. Once it is published, you can see the link initially the web address was not in a link. Now it is the link here. Now once we will click on this link, we will reach to our portal here. So this is how the portal will look like. See here, this is welcome to my portal. So like this, we are able to see a preview of the portal as well. What if I try to add any record type as well? Okay, so uh, we will try to go back in our interface and we will try to create a read only grid and we will add a record type here as well. So let's add a record type here. Why is so I have added a read only grid as well here. Okay, some links are also there. Let's try to see how does it behave here. So now let's click on save changes. What we will do here is we will try to any changes you have made in the interface you have to it's not like it directly you know like if you go in the portal it won't reflect immediately you have to go and republish your portal then only it will go and reflect okay we have to republish it huh now see as soon as I click on republish it check the security of the record the record security is what it doesn't have the viewer permission so which record type we have added country record type and who can access the country record type so the two groups can access the country record of what admins and users and a new user a service account that we have created this particular account is not able to access my record okay so in order to best do that what we can do here is we can create a group okay for the portals here okay so for like portal users 
and we can add our okay we can add our service account customers port customers port service account in this group and this group will have the viewer because see uh, giving individual access is not uh, uh, recommended by Appian as well so giving access with the help of group is more recommended here even if I if you say like if I add customer support here then it will give a warning like individual user is detected here so what I will do here is YS portal users I will add a viewer and you might ask like why I'm not giving the I'm not adding to the users group why I'm creating a separate because portal users uh, if it is separate then it is much better because viewer access if I add then they will have a lot of accesses okay I don't want like all the ac viewer access they should have only the access which is required which is only the objects which are used in the portal that access only I should give to the uh, to the external users other access I don't want to give that's why I created a separate group and then given the security uh, for them okay now let me try to republish it so you can see here here again ys city also it is saying like it for that as well it needs the access along with this one because uh, it is a relation type some uh, is made here so what i will do here is ys city or instead of that i guess with the where is ys city used okay instead of that what we can do here is this link we can remove it okay and let it be independent here this portal only so link I have removed one more thing is that YS city as well I will give this portal access so I will click on add users and YS portal users will have the viewer access okay and save the changes uh, both the city access it has and I will try to remove the link as well and save my changes here and now I will republish the portal once again now you can see here the republish is in progress now the portal is published here now we will go back and refresh our portal once and we will see that how uh, how does it look like now so you can see here welcome to my portal is there then some uh, then some country ID is there then the name of the countries are there if I just want to search something I will be able to search that as well okay so all the basic functionality which are there in Appian uh, we are able to access as an external user as well so if even if you try to open in incognito mode as well doesn't matter it will work the same way because authentication is not required in order to access the data so you can see the same information we can access here as well so that was about a, a brief intro about like what is portal how to use that and all I have an important announcement for you all I have uh, tried to create a crash course based on Appian which covers all the majority of topics required in order to learn Appian okay and this course is now published onto Udemy you can go and check it out some of the key features of this course are like 83 lectures are there so detailed explanation is there for all the topics now 7.5 hours of learning uh, on demand is there okay and uh, all the important topics you can see here starting from the introduction session then a designer overview all the things any application you want to start how you will understand the problem statement that is covered here for starting the development how to create users groups folder what are their types all these things are covered here the expressions the functions uh, the interfaces part then we will also cover about one POC we are doing in this one that is the loan application how to handle that application create the forms and all that is there the backend flow the process model flow like how we will handle the process for that one the different gateways are covered here the records are covered the sites the approval flow is there like how approval loan will go for approval how it will do so all these important points like task report what are what is a process report different types of reports are there some enhancement changes we will also cover chart pie chart that we will cover in the reports and the how we will provide security as well so all this part starting from the beginning to end everything is covered in detail here so uh, you can go and check it check it out the link is in the description if you go through the link you will get a uh, discount as well with the link that has been provided here so I hope it will be helpful to you just go and check it out once and uh, let me know about it okay so that's all for now thank you